we're going to go over how to submit claims from HelloNote to Ability. First, you want to make sure you're logged into your administrative account, and you're going to see a billing tab on the top. Once you click on it, you're going to see an option for claims. Once you click claims, it's going to bring you to another screen looking like this. This section is called ready to send, and these are going to be all your notes that you have finalized and are ready to be submitted for billing. So once you update your filters, you could change the patient, insurance, discipline, the date filters, press generate, and it's going to show you all the notes in the system that you have completed or any therapist within your account. From here, you're gonna see, for example, a note highlighted in yellow, and look at the name of the note. It says Addendum Daily Note 2, and this lets you know in yellow that this is a addendum of a note. This way you don't accidentally submit two of the same notes. Okay, so if you have an original note, put that one on hold and make sure to only submit the addendum if that's the one that you want to submit. From here, you're going to look all the way on the right and there's an action button. So it's an arrow pointing to the right and this allows you to audit this claim. So if I click on it, it's going to tell me if anything is missing. In this example, I'm missing part of the address, so it's not going to allow you to send to the clearinghouse. Other errors can include missing NTI numbers of the referring provider, missing NTI numbers of the rendering provider, payer IDs, uh, insurance numbers, and so on. So we give you a heads up, let you know if something's missing before we allow you to submit it to the insurance company. Once a claim has passed an audit, you can go to the audited tab, and generate the claims from this side. So if anything needs to be generated, you simply look at all the claims from here. And here we can see there's a whole bunch of claims that were audited. And if you don't wanna submit them one by one, you can always press select all, and on the top right, you click submit claim. From here, it's going to check the claim, make sure everything is good, and then submit it to the clearinghouse. In this example, it's going to be ability. Now, if you want to submit one claim at a time, you click on this up arrow, which is the third button, and it's going to submit the claim one by one instead of as a batch. Okay, and you want to maybe do it as a one by one in the beginning as you learn the system, so this way you don't submit a whole bunch of claims, and then if there's an issue, you have to redo them all. Okay, going back to ready to send, there's also a batch audit button. So if I click select all, be able to click batch audit on the top, top right. So once a claim is submitted from the audited tab, it's going to go to ability. So I'm gonna switch screens to ability. Once you log into ability, make sure you click on the billing tab and click launch ease all payer. From this screen, you're gonna click on Claims Professional. And now you can see all the claims that you have sent over from HelloNote to Ability. In this example, we will look at the top claim. So the columns are really important to pay attention to. It tells you when the claim was created, what type of creation mode. In this case, we imported it from HelloNote. The patient control number, which is the same number as the patient ID number in HelloNote, so it makes things easier to keep track and cross-reference. The patient name, the charge amount, the date of service, the insurance, and the status. So the status, you, want, you always wanna look for this validated status. If it says validated, that means ability found no issues with the claim and it's ready to be released. So how you release a claim, you check off the box all the way to the left, and then you click on the release button above. It's going to ask you if you're sure you wanna release the claim, and this is where you can press yes. Once you press yes, it's going to change, it's gonna give you a notification, and then refresh it, and let you know that the claim has been released. Okay? Now, if you made a mistake and you need to change something, you can click on the action button on the right. It's going to bring you into the CMS 1500 form, the electronic version of it, and you can make any adjustments you need here. 
So if you need to change the patient's uh, ID number or date of birth, any uh, rendering or referring NPI numbers, everything can be done from here. If the claim needs to be added a KX modifier, for example, you can do this from here and then re-release -re the claim. So every time you make a change here, you're going, you're going to go to transaction and save and validate. And you can make multiple changes in once. You don't have to make a change, save and validate, and so on. You simply make your change, changes, go to transaction, save and validate. Okay, now when I go to claims, click professional again, you're going to be brought back to the screen. One of the uh, very important tools that this system offers is a profiler. So if you click on it, you can filter out which claims you want to see. So if I just want to see claims that have been released, I check that off and click apply on the top right, and it only leaves me these claims. You could do the same thing if you have claims in error and you need to fix them. You can see all the claims in error. Okay, as a learning experience, it's uh, good to have errors because once you fix them a few times for the same patient, you'll know how to fix it for future patients as well. In the next training, we will go over how to look at posted ERAs and eligibility checks. Thank you.